Hello, class. Yes, I'm here again. So anyway, today we're going to talk about area. Yesterday or this weekend, we talked about um, perimeter from a parallelogram, a triangle, a trapezoid, and a circle. Today we're going to find the area. Not of all of those figures, just two. We're going to find the area of a parallelogram and triangle. And as we uh, let you know in the perimeter video, these are both the same shapes that you had for perimeter. So you can use these same shapes, just add on to your description when we start working the area. First, let's go back and discuss what is area. Area is the measurement in square units that covers an object. That's why last year your unit that, that uh, went over area and perimeter was called cover and surround covering and surrounding. So area covers an object and is always described in square units. Alright, our first figure, a parallelogram. We use the formula area equals base times height. Our base for this parallelogram is 8. And our height is a measurement that's perpendicular to the base, which is 4. 8 times 4 is 32. It's inches squared. So our area equals 32 inches squared. Parallelogram works for any of the parallelograms, square, rectangle, uh, any, any of those. So now let's move on to the triangle. Once you notice um, how a triangle compares to a parallelogram, if I took this parallelogram and cut it right in half, what have I made? Hopefully you'll say two triangles. As you remember from sixth grade, that's how we came up with or how the formula is area equals one half base times height because it's the, it's the same as the parallelogram it's only half of it so it's the same formula just half of it so let's start plugging in our values here our base is seven our height is two because it's the is the line that's perpendicular to the base, meets the base at a right angle. Now, since this is multiplication, I can use commutative property on it. Instead of trying to multiply one half of seven, I can do something a little bit easier, multiply seven times two first, which is 14, then do one half of 14, which is seven centimeters squared. That is our area for that triangle. Make sure you have these notes nice and neat in your C notes. If you want you can make a new page or if you want to just add it onto your perimeter notes from yesterday that is quite fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh wait, 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 wait. The code word is watermelon. Bye.